It was the highest profile visit by Xi Jinping to Russia ever. Packed with high profile meetings, 20 billion US dollars worth agreements reached and signed. But it wasn't all work, work, work. Two pandas temporarily moved to Moscow Zoo, stole the hearts of both leaders during their visit. And not only hearts of the presidents, but also of the thousands that came to see these two furry goodwill ambassadors. There was also some sightseeing through St. Petersburg when Vladimir Putin showed his birth town to the Chinese guest. But the media spotlight was focused on the forum's plenary session, where the two leaders gave key addresses. And both of them mentioned 5G technology development and pressure on Huawei by the U.S., something that local analysts had to add word or three. The Trump administration is trying to do everything to catch up. From my perspective, what is happening now with 5G is all for political reasons. Russia is also facing years-long pressure from the West in the form of sanctions, a fact that was frequently mentioned at the forum. But regardless of that, business is finding the way to overcome or just avoid sanctions. We have lots of meetings with the foreign companies and all they do the business in Russia and growing the business in Russia. And we see that uh, this partnership would be uh, very successful uh, for the future. And they have the good partners in the different countries and uh, uh, all level, including the political one. And all these sanctions and trade wars are encouraging Russia and China to come closer together. They didn't hide that as a result they do intend to step up and expand their strategic partnership in the years to come. And that was very visible during this visit of President Xi Jinping. That expansion will not only occur in usual sectors like energy, transportation and infrastructure, but also in high-tech areas such as space exploration, 5G, mobile networks and many others. They've extended an invitation for all, but judging by the current state of world affairs, it is hard to imagine that the West will embrace that call. Alyosha Milenko, CGTN, St. Petersburg.